So if you're a parent, keeping track of your child's emotions can be so tricky. Mm -hmm. But when do certain behaviors call for you to actually step in and help? Recently, the National Institutes of Health reported one in three kids suffers from significant anxiety. So if you need tricks that'll work well and quickly, we do have help. Danny DeNovo is here with research-backed tips on how we can help our kids. And you know, this is such a great conversation. Welcome, first of all, um, because anxiety is a big part of the latest summer block Buster, right? <laughs> yes, Inside Out too. And now kids are talking about anxiety. It's a good thing. You know, it is a great thing. But you have some tips on how we can manage this. Right. So a couple of years ago, I was in an old school pizza place with my daughter. She picks her pizza off the counter and the piece just slides right off her plate. And as soon as it hit the floor, you know, the volcano erupts. Mm -hmm. So you're in a crowded restaurant or a crowded place. You need things that work. But what was really interesting about that time was I saw how many mothers were triggered by my daughter having a little bit of anxiety. One had to leave the restaurant, what? and another one was trying yeah. to soothe my daughter. So I know this is a real issue for parents. Mm -hmm. Now, I like to have things close by that, again, work really quickly, that are easily accessible and practical for mm -hmm. you to have with mm -hmm. you. So I put together just these little kits. I thought, well, if everyone could just bring these things with them, then you could have these things available when you needed them. So the first thing I have in there is called a breathing necklace. And I love these for kids because Ooh. you can put it around your neck and hide it in your shirt, take mm -hmm. it with you to school, and no one would even know it, it was like there. It looks like a whistle. It looks like a whistle, but it doesn't make any noise, so it's okay to take mm -hmm. to even church if you needed to, right? But what I, I love about this is when your kid is having their anxiety moment, it's mm -hmm. really hard to break that cycle, right? They need something physical to sort of disrupt that pattern. Sure. So if you're just saying, breathe, breathe, that's not going to work, right? Mm -hmm. It's still going to hit the fan. But if you give them this to hold and then they can blow into it, if you can train them just how to do a really slow exhale, mm -hmm. that triggers that vagus nerve that runs right here and that engages your parasympathetic nervous system. System. That's our calming mechanism. Oh. So that's the first thing that you can use. You can try it at home just so they know what to do with it. But again, when they put it, you put it in their face, uh -huh. then they're going to realize, okay, I just need to blow into mm -hmm. this, and it's going to disrupt that cycle for you. Another thing that you can carry is a makeup brush. Take it with you, okay? So tactile stimulation of the outer ear is research back science that says uh -huh. it, it, again, triggers that parasympathetic nervous system. Mm -hmm. But I really like the brush for two reasons. Number one, it just feels really good. Yeah. But number two, again, it's something physical to put in their hand, right? And this okay. is a great thing for siblings to mm -hmm. use on each other. This it, calm me down. Yeah, it's it's specifically on your ear. <laughs> yeah, saying. specifically so on just your, rub ear. your ear. And like, it's even a great thing to do before you go to bed or with your kids oh, before you go to uh -huh. sleep, which is soothing. Hmm. It is soothing. Yeah. Then I really like different scents. There are so many that are research back to help with happiness. Citrus is a great one to elevate mood. But the two that I like to carry for my, my daughter are lavender and eucalyptus. So mm. eucalyptus will invigorate your body, but it calms mm. your mind. And it's actually being used in research for mood disorders, like bipolar disorder. Oh. And lavender is just so calming and soothing. But they're using lavender in research with women who are in labor. And they're saying that their anxiety and stress goes down when they smell lavender while they're having their baby. Really? Yeah, isn't that interesting. amazing? That is interesting. Lip balm. So everyone carries this. Great for kids. I give you some nice smelling ones. Mm -hmm. uh, and I give you a shimmery one because you have to look fabulous. <laughs> you know me well. <laughs> <laughs> but when you touch your lips, mm -hmm. those nerve endings, again, send signals to your brain that engages that parasympathetic nervous system. So you could tell your kids just to kind of rub their finger across their lips. But again, they're not going to listen to what you're saying. Yeah, of course. Okay, put this in front of their face. And for the little ones, you can even open it and put it on for them. You can get the ones that have the oil in it that feel really good. Then once you put it on your lips, what do they do? They automatically start mm -hmm. rubbing their mm -hmm. lips, so that increases the nerve ending yeah. stimulation that goes to their brain, right? It just helps them slow down. And that down. helps them calm down. It does, huh? right? Okay. What is this? Just distraction? These are distractions as well. I love crystals, but even if you don't believe in the powerful, magical crystals that I believe in, they're just fun to have. Now, again, this is a tactile thing. Yeah, Put it in their yeah. hand, a disruptor. They start rubbing it, right? This is the same kind of thing mm -hmm. as massage. Mm -hmm. So that tactile stimulation lowers cortisol levels and it raises your happy hormone levels in your body, especially oxytocin, which just makes you feel calm and yeah, loved. Yeah. So they can put this in their pocket. Your, maybe your grandmother had something like a worry stone. Mm -hmm. I don't like to use that word. I like the calming stone. Right. So again, it's just pretty to look at. They can carry it around and just so, rub it. So Danny, the situation you described was an obvious situation where she's experiencing, the signs are there that she's right. having like, you know, whether it's a tantrum or just uh, she's crying whatever what if there are other signs and those are harder to pick up what are some of those so uh, what I would be really afraid of is if I saw my daughter in complete freeze state 
right, mm -hmm. where she just can't interact, she can't voice anything. Mm -hmm. So as hard as it is for a parent to deal with a tantrum, at least they're expressing emotion and they're releasing right. it. When they just are keeping it all inside and they just kind of have sort of a dead stare mm -hmm. or some sort of, you know, even mm -hmm. just look sort of somber all the yeah. time, right? To me, that signals that there's a lot of anxiety being held mm -hmm. inside of our bodies. Um, another thing could be either they can't sleep when it's time to go to bed, yeah. uh, you see a lot of anxiety come out then, or they're kind of sleeping all the time, right? And that's really scary because that's when the anxiety starts to to roll over into depression. Mm -hmm. So those are kind of the things that you want to look out for. It's so almost catch like it extreme, early. Yeah. extreme emotions almost, right? Like overreaction, no reaction. Right. Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, anger and sadness are kind of easy for kids to sort of decipher mm -hmm. and talk about a little bit. But when you get into those more complicated emotions, and maybe there's a bunch all kind of rolled up together, yeah. usually there's anxiety in there, right? It's, it's all fear-based. You're either on the fear side of things or on the love side of things. Mm -hmm. So we want to kind of trigger them to come back to the more positive emotions and and dwell there instead of in the sadness i love this and i love this and i'm going to keep it with me yeah, take this it is with a great you. idea it all thank you so age. much <laughs> thank you all right well for more tips danny can certainly help you out so head to dannydenovo.com and we'll be right back it's such a big awesome. topic i mean but this is really tangible and easy it is i mean i kind of break just